Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. Today I've got a fun new Easter card featuring a brand new digi stamp from Heartcraft Paper. Isn't this Easter Bunny adorable? I love him. Let me show you how I put this card together. I started by printing him out on cardstock, and you can disregard the other images. I'm going to use those later for another card, or actually two other cards. I went ahead and I colored my rabbit in lots of shades of brown. If you guys have watched my videos before, you know every time I color a rabbit, I color them brown because we have a little rabbit at home. Her name is Remington Steal Your Heart, and she's brown like this, so I add in lots of colors like her. Um, I give this guy a white tummy and a white nose and a white tail, but I'm using warm grays to add dimension there. And then I'll bring in um, some sand colors for the ground, for the rock, and for my basket. And then I'll add some brighter colors for the butterfly, the eggs, and the flowers here. And I'm just using two shades because it's such a small area for those. I've got a white paint pen. I'm just going to use that to disconnect the clouds from my bunny's ears. I'm also going to bring in a Copic liner and I'm going to create a tab out of the ground. And with my pencil, I'm going to connect the lines on the tail just so that the scan and cut can see a solid line and just makes it easier for it to cut out just what I want it to. So it cut the rabbit image out with the ground connected and then the butterfly is separated. And I knew I wanted to add a sentiment banner along the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and use this dye to cut it out. But I didn't want it to be just plain pink. So I've got two shades of pink markers that I'm going to use to create an ombre effect. The bottom one is darker. And then the second marker is almost the same shade as the paper when it dries. And so it's just going to blend the, the colors together. And then I've got an alphabet stamp set here from Lawn Fawn that I'm using to spell out Hoppy Easter. I thought that would be fun. I'm going to line everything up, make sure it's in the right spot. And then I'm going to go ahead and prep my paper first with an anti-static powder tool. And I'll stamp it initially with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then you'll see me clean my stamps off so I can stamp it again with Versamark ink. And Versamark ink is a clear, sticky ink that stays wet longer than regular ink. Um, so it, it'll allow me to sprinkle on my embossing powder. Here I've got clear embossing powder. And the Versamark just holds it in place while I heat set it. And then that just melts it down and gives me a nice shiny finish. It's raised a little bit too. It's, I, I like it for sentiments. Now I'm going to bring back that fly, uh, fishtail banner and I will cut it out uh, using my Big Shot. And once I've got that cut out, I'll bring in all my other cutout pieces, which I'll spare you the, the die cutting. I did that off camera. I offset an egg and cut it out with my scan and cut, and then I cut the border with a stitched rectangle. And these are both A2 size panels. It's gonna give me my card front and the background. I cut out two pieces of grass and light and dark green. And then I cut out two clouds, one from white cardstock and one from vellum. And you'll see later that I changed my mind on the vellum. Once I've got my pieces cut out, um, I realize that there's a lot of negative space between the bunny's arms and the basket. So I went ahead and I just filled in a little bit uh, with a marker that's pretty much the same color as the background. And you'll notice that because I have that white border around my rabbit, I didn't want to go all the way to the edge um, when I'm coloring in here. I'm preserving a little bit of a white border on the inside too, just so that it's cohesive. And I'm going to clean up those little pencil lines on the tail. I don't need them anymore. And now I can start putting the parts together for the scene. I've got some really thin fun foam. 
This is just from a pack from the dollar store. It's about half the thickness of regular foam tape. And I like it when I want just a little, a little extra dimension, but not to be completely popped up as much as regular foam tape. So I'm gonna put that on the back of the bunny in a couple spots. And then I'm gonna stagger my grass and then I will glue those two pieces together. And the green, the darker green is in the back and the lighter green's in the front. And then I decided I wanted some dimension between the grass and the rabbit as well. So I'm gonna stick another layer of foam between those two. And I'm using PVA glue in my fine liner bottle. It's my standard go-to glue for wet glue. I'll go ahead and glue this in place. And when I've got these two sandwiched together, I realize there's a, a little extra that I need to fill in so that I have a nice flat piece. But these two uh, layers of foam tape with the paper equal the thickness of a single layer of foam tape. So I'll glue these in place. And then you'll see me add a layer of foam tape all around the rest of the background because these two layers combine equal the same thickness, it's, it's gonna even itself out. And I have to tell you, this card was actually inspired by a card uh, from Barbara Anders. I just loved it so much. And uh, I have links to her original card on my blog as well. So if you guys wanna see the, the card that inspired this one, go ahead and check that out. And, You'll see why I really wanted to create one just like it as well. So you see I've uh, filled in the background here with some foam tape. And then I can go ahead and stick it to my background, adding a little bit of glue to the, the fun foam there. And then I'll stick it to my background. And that scene really comes together quickly. Popped up the butterfly with a, a layer of foam tape. And I've got my clouds here. I'm going to use some uh, foam tape on the back of the cloud that sticks um, to the bottom here, the bigger cloud. And I decided for the smaller cloud, I did not like them in vellum. So I went ahead and cut it again out of uh, more white cardstock. And it's half on the card front and half on the back. So I've got a little glue and a little foam tape. And I've also got some foam tape to pop up my sentiment. I'll line that up. And trim off the extra. And I went with a pink card base. It's A2 size, the same as the, the front. And that's the same color pink as my banner was. And then for my final details, I'm going to add a little bit of shimmer with a a uh, shimmer pen just on the eggs, the butterfly, and the flowers. Then I'm going to add some white highlights to his eyes and I sign the back to finish my card and that's it. And if you um, are interested in links to any of the products that I use, they're all on my blog. Also, you can check out Heartcraft Paper's new release. If you like today's video, go ahead and click subscribe. Thanks for watching!